Today we're going to cover Roman achievements. We're going to discuss five main achievements that Rome is most known for. Now, this does not limit us to all of the achievements of Rome, but these are the five main achievements that Rome is most known for. The first main achievement is arches. Arches are curved structures over an opening that can support its weight. Usually, an arch looks very similar to this, and something sits on top of it. Now, if you go to St. Louis, St. Louis has one of the most famous arches in the United States. The difference between this arch and St. Louis is that that arch doesn't have anything on it. It's just a freestanding arch. Dome. Dome is a it helps create an open space in buildings. This is an example of a dome. Now, right here in North Carolina, about an hour or so drive west is the Dean Dome, where the Tar Heels play basketball at. Um, that is the most famous dome here in North Carolina. There are other domes right here in the southeast. You have the George Dome, which is ginormous. You also have the Superdome down in Louisiana, uh, where during Hurricane Katrina, you see all the famous pictures that people basically slap out in the Superdome. Those two, the Georgia Dome and the Superdome, are two of the most famous ones here in the United States. Another Roman achievement is the Roman roads. Roman built the largest, longest lasting network of roads in the world. Not at the time, even today. There are 56,000 miles and there are 29 major highways. The Roman roads were made out of cobblestone. Basically what cobblestone was is broken stones kind of makeshifted in almost like a puzzle like diagram. If you ride your car on it, it's very bumpy and you're going to survive on it, but it's very uh, bumpy all the way across. If you ride your bike, you may get stuck. But the Roman road is 56,000 miles, 29, mile, 29 major highways. Let's move on to an additional series of achievements that the Romans came up with. The Roman calendar. The Roman calendar that the Romans came up with is most known as the Julian calendar. The Julian calendar is named after Julius Caesar. It has 365 days and one extra day every year, every four years. July was named after Julius Caesar because it included his birthday. So the only way they can make it work is named July after Julius Caesar. The final Roman achievement that we're going to cover today is the aqueduct. Aqueduct, aqua, water, pops above ground to move clear, cold water from springs over 250 miles into the countryside. So, here's your example. You have springs, is large pipes that stretch across the town or the city, and it goes into the countryside down below. It was basically to help these countryside citizens get the water that the city already could get. The aqueduct was built um, for that purpose so the countryside citizens could get water just like, the, just like the Roman city people could as well. So today we have talked about the five main achievements. Arches, domes, Roman roads, 56,000 miles, 29 major highways, Roman calendar, the Julian calendar, 365 days, one each day every fourth year, and the aqueduct, 250 miles in the towns with water, big old pipes, stretched across the city. This ends the Roman achievement lesson for today.